2020 marks the beginning of the CMS Ambulance Cost Data Collection Program. CMS recently announced that over 2,600 ambulance services across the United States have been selected to participate in the first year of the Ambulance Cost Data Reporting Project. To find out if your ambulance service has been selected, you can check this web address for the complete CMS list. If you haven't been selected, rest assured you'll be selected in one of the future years. Now, if you have been selected, here are five things that you need to do immediately to prepare for this process. First, notify your MAC, your Medicare Administrative Contractor, of your intended 12-month reporting period. Now, CMS is giving ambulance services the flexibility to report data either from a calendar year or a fiscal year. So if you, like most ambulance services, do your books and your accounting from January 1st to December 31st, that's a calendar year. If you have a fiscal year, for example, July 1st to June 30th, you can use that. But the first thing you need to do is let your MAC know. Now, in many cases, those letters have already gone out. And in those letters, your MAC will give you a deadline and a website or an email address at which you are required to report your 12-month intended period. You may need to do that within 30 days of the date of the letter but check that letter carefully on how much time you have to report that and where that report must be made. That very likely needs to be done before January 1st if you've been selected. The second thing you need to do is on January 1st or as soon as possible thereafter, take a snapshot of your staff. Document which personnel are working in which positions as of January 1. Now this may sound a little counterintuitive, but whatever position a person holds on January 1 in your organization, that's the category in which you're going to report them for the entire year. So even if you have an EMT basic who becomes a paramedic during the year, you report them in the EMT bucket because that's the position they held on January 1. It'll be a lot easier at the end of the 12-month period if you have that January 1 snapshot of where all of your staff are working and what positions as at the beginning of the year. Third, be prepared to track the necessary information in the CMS required formats. Now, some of the data that CMS is asking for is a little counterintuitive from an accounting standpoint. One quick example, if you have a staff member, an employee, who does any work at all as an EMS field provider, all of their hours get reported in the EMS provider category. Even if that person also does administrative responsibilities, QA, public education, training, whatever it might be, if they do any field provider hours, all of their hours get reported in that category. So it's important to uh, familiarize yourself with how that data is going to be uh, collected and start tracking it as of the beginning of the year in those required formats. It's going to be a lot easier to reassemble and report that information if you've been collecting it in the proper format all year long. Fourth, start working with your outside contributors to get them to collect and report the information that you're going to need. For example, if your ambulance service is part of a hospital, municipal government, a larger corporation or corporate entity, or even if you're, say, a nonprofit that gets fuel or staff benefits or rent for your headquarters paid by a local government agency, those costs need to be reported. So you're going to have to work with those outside or parent organizations to get the portion of those costs that they cover. Similarly, if you work with an outside billing agency, you're going to need to work closely with them because you will have to rely on much of the information that they're going to have access to and report in terms of your revenues, your payer mix, and a bunch of other information. Fifth and finally, print and read the Medicare Cost Data Collection Instrument. You can find it here at this web address. The document is a tough read. I'll just warn you of that up front. But it's important to go through it and know exactly how CMS is going to be requesting the information at the end of the year. As we said a minute ago, that will help you decide how to collect that information as you're going through the year. It's going to be a lot easier to simply compile it than it is to recreate it. So the key is to know what's in that cost data collection instrument and report it in that proper format. 
Now, we're going to be doing webinars and have other educational offerings that you can attend and things that you can read to help you prepare for this. But it's critically important. Remember, there's a 10% reimbursement cut if you fail to report the CMS data in the required format. There's a lot involved in the CMS cost data collection process. Certainly, we at PWW are here to help. Let us know if we can help your organization. Good luck with the process, and remember to tune in to our webinars at ABC 360 conference and other educational offerings to help you along the way.